guys. Oh, and I just can't keep that cable pointing in the same direction, huh? You're gonna let me pick? No, actually, I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm gonna let Jess pick me first and gather you up. Somebody just run behind me. Yep, I did not know she was in the cat ball. I'm sorry. One or two drops in both eyes twice a day for seven days. I'm going to leave everybody here. Hello, everyone. Here, boy. You gonna be brave to me? Hmm? You like you remember those pettings, don't you? Okay. We'll just take your brother. He wants to. Look at it. Don't worry, I'm not gonna pet you just yet. Oh, he's purring now. Little miss is underneath the stool over there. You can just make her out. He's such a brave boy. He's going to be my gateway to the other kittens. Just will be in here in a moment. What did I do with the eyedropper? Huh? What did I do? There it is. I don't like how sassy he was. Like, oh no, but as soon as you start doing it. See, that was nice, huh? You like that. Yeah? That's right, you just lay their face away from me, so I don't exist. Just the good feelings, until that happens. More poops? Mm. Yes, I can smell it. Hi, hey, buddy. Are we just, get, yeah. Are we just
just getting some good lemons going. Oh, that's the great stereo fur in here. I've got a big fur. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. Can you see that tail? These boys have some big furs. Yeah, they do. Here you go. I'm done with you. Hello, little boy. Aw, look at him. Yeah, that was some impressive elevator butt on him. I would not be too close to the face. I've already done it for a couple of times. Ready? He's yep. a little squirrely. There's the purr. And the girl's underneath the stool. Yeah, I know. She's going to be not happy with us. Can you help? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. There you go. That'll make your eyes all better. You born okay? Yep. Good to see you too, guys. As much fun as a, and a pleasure it was to have Starlight, it's also fun to have more than one she watching was them play. Pretty awesome, Captain. Yeah, she was. She was too awesome. Oh no! Thank you, Marshmallow. Do you guys get any trims? They have not had their snips yet, so they will be going up to Homer Pet next week, early next week to have that Wednesday. Done. Wednesday. 9 Middle of the week. Okay, you ready? She's gonna hiss. Okay, we're gonna do the next one. The last one. Okay, guys, I need you to help me with your sister, okay? Very tiny. She's about the size of um She's about the size of Richie. Yeah. Is that her? Oh, that was me. Oh. She's very scary. Very tiny. Yeah. She looks like a she almost looks like a twelve week old kitten almost. Yeah. She's I mean, I don't think she is, but Well, being a female, I mean, so she'll be smaller, but she might have been malnourished too. Yeah, Hi Tracy. The oh. brothers are very protective of her. That was a very good first dosing. They did tell us that they they did take yeah. the medicine very well. Okay, we we'll need to fill up the chart. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, Hi, pretty Grody. Can you come out? Maybe do. Oh, I think they would like that. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely need a big litter box in here, a tall one. Um, These guys are cookers. Yeah, but we have another one downstairs that it's easy to, kind of easy to get to, but I would need your help with. Well, we, need, we should also have one of the cardboard ones that are big. Plus, we, we should. No? Hey, Lizzie. 
They need two because I mean they're in there not a yeah. Yeah, hey, Auntie, uh, there's someone shy. He's a, he's our gateway kitten right here. He's helping other guys know that, hey, they're not, he didn't, my brother's not getting eaten, so it must be safe. And he seems to be the, he gives them the confidence to move because he's confident. They follow his lead. When they came over, the two black and whites were in one carrier and um, the gray guy was in the in him by himself and he was totally fine. I've been calling the male the the black and white male um, brute. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's a big boy. He's the biggest of all three of them. So that's not, we're gonna be having a naming contest. We're still working out all the details and we should have something ready to tell you tomorrow. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. If not, we'll work it out. We're just going with it. They do have names. Yeah. This is rate. Uh, this is radar. And this is Klingon. Klinger. Klinger. So this guy's Klinger, and then well, and hers is Jezebel. Yeah. So we can. I mean, we but, can certainly call them that for now. If we so we know who we're. Well, talking. But if we, if we do that, then everybody will keep calling them that. Yeah, it's true. It's, but. Uh, when they came into the shelter, they were given those names, so they they just got those names. Yeah. So. And they, and they they encourage the fosters to give them new names because they, the fosters are the ones who get to see their personality. But this guy's a brute. But but um, the basic gist of how once we pick a winner, um, that person will get to pick a theme and a name. Um, I'm only going to go with one person this time. Previously, we did like one person per kitten, but then there was a bunch of delays and communication. Um, so we, we want to get these guys named quickly because they're big. They're big, and I would imagine if they're going to get fixed next Wednesday, the third, the what is that, the fourth? Yeah. No. no. Yes, that's the fourth. The next Wednesday on the fourth, and then I wouldn't be surprised if they get adopted that following weekend. So they're not going to. They're also another. Short term, like Starlight. Yeah, fourth. Yeah, well, election day's on the third. Yeah. So. We wanted to, uh, also, uh, so one reason why we got these guys is we wanted to be able to provide people a break from all the crazy insanity that's outside your home. You can stay home safe and watch crazy kittens running and playing. Oh, look at him. Well, he just realized I'm between two humans. Okay. He's looking at me, try to pet me. Oh, I pet him. He's in a play mood. Because he sees me move my arm, he's just like, come out of here. He's got some really cool markings. Yeah. I really like their markings a lot. So, once we pick a winner, which will be done by true randomness, it's like, a little geek thing, but computers cannot give a truly random number. It's impossible. But if they, um, what computers use is what's called a seed. They give it the same seed, it's going to pick the same set, set of numbers randomly. But um, random.org shoots a laser to, I believe, to the moon, and then it takes the atmosphere distortion on that laser to come up with a number. So that's some sort of external thing, which is truly unique. And it comes up with that number for the seed. So, and that's how we'll pick the winner. And the winner, Look at their heads. we're going to give the winner one hour during their daytime to respond. <laughs> and then we go on to the next one. We, we just want to get the names done. We may do a little grace period or something like that, but. That's why I, I not to never been keen on gambling machines because I know I know how they work. Even besides being programmed to win or lose, there's no such thing as a random number in the computer. Whoa! Look at you, buddy. I don't know. Uh, I th yeah, I think there is a site that generates a random number based off a of lava lamp. So you can't use a computer to come up with a number. You need some sort of truly 
random external source like atmosphere distortion that cannot be predicted or duplicated. A lava lamp is one such thing. I'm waiting for him to come over towards me so I can go. <laughs> yeah, he likes to steal and get into tug of wars. So that was your daily dose of geek. Unfortunately, I give like two or three doses a day. I'm a geek. Not to me so much, though. Mm -hmm. See? If you do, it goes in one ear. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't even realize I'm saying it. Not really. I drink up a second from when I require it. It's like, the human brain can't even process that fast. Okay, here's another geek factor. You're not living in the present. You're living 80 nanoseconds in the past. Because that's how long it takes your body, to your brain to get, get all the senses, sense information from your senses, and piece together the now. That's why the trick where you hold a coin up like this and try to catch it when they drop it, almost never, fit, never succeeds. If it's like done by computer that drops it, you will never catch it. Because by the time your brain figures out it's been dropped and sends the signal to your fingers, it's already long past. The people, the way that people get it to work is they read their body language to anticipate when they're going to drop it. And there's your daily dose of geek for yesterday. Yeah, lava lamps have more than one function. Paperweight, lamp, crazy boredom amusement, random number generator. He's like porn. Look at that one. He really wants to get into it. <laughs> Tracy's like, like the um, teacher on peanuts. I start talking like that. Wah, 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 wah. Yes, teacher. Wah, 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 wah. If, you're, if you are a geek, subscribe to this channel. Because you're sure to get more information, random bits and all that. <laughs> Ghosty says thanks. She wasn't stressed. <laughs> Pretty girl, can you come over here? What am I thinking? I think you spell it W A H and just a lot of A's and H's. Is he stealing you? You want a, you want a ready? A granny? Oh no, she's been grabbed. Okay, ready? Oh, surprise. He's like, no. He's like, no. He's like, what? I don't like these keys touching me. I don't like it. Do you know where that laser dot pin is? This one here? Like, what is that? Sorry. Yep, these are the shy kitties that arrived about 12 hours ago. They're still very shy. 12 hours? No, they arrived at 1.30. Okay. Yeah. However, however long it says I've been broadcasting, that's when it got here, about 20 minutes or before that. Yeah, we, we went live really quick. Because we both had a lot of things to do, and so it's like... <laughs> and we weren't sure. When, we almost didn't pick them up until 6. I'm really glad we were able to pick them up earlier. Yeah. Because we had a lot done, so we just didn't have anything to do tonight. You know it's this. Oh, 
Um, she's like, you really are going to have to learn to like people, Missy. She's like, it's only been a few minutes since I've been here. It's like, don't pet me when I'm not expecting it. <laughs> just take a sit and toys and distracting him. He just took it behind the other cam. See if you can grab it. Well, I missed you too, ghosties. <laughs> He's playing tug of war. <laughs> he did three sets tonight. Wow. That's impressive. I'll be there on Friday. With bells on. <laughs> Hopefully my elliptical should be here by then, too. Yeah, I was, I was thinking earlier, it's like, didn't you have an exercise thing today? No, because we were supposed to be going to pick them up. Oh, and then we yeah. had the video to do, and I was just like, um, and I had work to do. You weren't touching it. <laughs> you have a claw snake. Yep. Okay. You ready, dude? Ready? I gotta watch that. Even at 60 frames per second, you couldn't catch all of his movements. for you to
wanting to play. Alright guys, I want to... God, they, they eat a lot. I don't think we're going to have enough food for until next Wednesday. I'm going to have to get some. I wonder if there's anything downstairs. I can't move. I need a little brush. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have sore necks. you could ever buy. You could like have hundreds on hand. What's it called? It's the cat catcher. Cat catcher. Yeah, the headbangers. <laughs> She's going to come out. Just give her a few minutes. And hopefully dad doesn't make noises. I wish we had a bigger rug like this. So, cheap plug, everybody. Make sure you go to Cat Lovers Academy for our new website. You can download your free guide to get started with cat clicker games and you can meet all our professors. Catloversacademy.com We have a video that should be coming out within the next 24 hours. So if you sign up, you could be one of the first people to get our video. And you can meet our professors. Mm -hmm. <coughs> professors, ah, you say. Professors. Maybe. And then next week we have something really fun that we're doing. So we hope that you can all join us as you join these great guys too. Thank you, beep beep. Thank you, beep beep. beep, 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 this old song, Little Mesh Wrangler. Sorry, beep beep. John didn't get much sleep. No, no, I didn't. Uh, I, I, I got a little bit more. Yeah, I got more than you. Yeah. <laughs> we had some issues at four, between 4 and 7 a.m. <laughs> My face has the marks to prove it. Yeah, we're taking our own courses. <laughs> when we're doing she cats... Got, she got ran over. I ran over pretty badly on my face at 4 a.m. And yes, we're not... <laughs> we're having to have taken our own courses. Yeah. yeah, we don't have a perfect harmony. Household. Yeah. We're working, or you know, we try, yeah. but when at four in the morning and we're dead asleep and one decides to pick a fight with the other, <laughs> there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. And I, we think what happened was, is B decided, Ruthie was sleeping on me, and B decided to mess with her. And it's, uh, it's, it's I think she might, like you said, she might have had a bad dream, woke up angry. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. I've never had Ruthie do that before. Yeah, I think we, we had we had a we we had, we had a cat a cat uh, one of the nest camps in our bedroom because Eddie had a seizure a couple weeks ago and we wanted a week ago a week ago we wanted to keep track on him and we took it out last night and then we don't so we have no video evidence of what happened. It's the one night that something would have happened. We have no idea. <laughs> Like somebody ran across me with a hiss. And then I, someone, all of a sudden I had a big 
poke and scrape over my nose. You can't see it, it's better, but it's pretty deep. It was bleeding. He's like, oh yeah, you're bleeding. Like, yeah, well, it wasn't bleeding bad, but you did have a drop of blood. Yeah, yeah. And then from four to seven, they were picking on each other, and then Trillian got in uh, Everybody got worked up. And... Yeah. And so first, Trillian got locked in the kitten room for a little while. Yeah. Because she was causing so much trouble. We gave her a time out. And then um, we put Ruthie out in the catio, and Nakia and her were doing something. Well, we didn't lock her in the catio. No. Uh, we her out there. Uh, sometimes if the cat gets really upset, it's a good idea to put them in a room by themselves so they can calm down. And it's, there's nothing for them to react to, so they were finally react, relax. And but truly, it was reacting to Ruthie in the quickest way. And Ruthie reacts to B. B reacts to Ruthie. The quickest way to uh, was to put Ruthie downstairs because she's happy downstairs. Yeah, she has her own bedroom. And... She she lives in the laundry room. Yeah. So. So that's how, but after John got up at least six or seven times to interrupt some kind of cat Kitty disagreement. Kitty K, it was Eddie that had a seizure. Yeah, Eddie had a seizure. It was pretty dramatic. Thankfully, we were right there. Yeah. And we took him to the vet, and his blood work and everything came back. Normal. Normal. So he is on a high blood work pressure medicine, and um, and on Serenia because he's also had been nauseous, so... Seizures are not fun. Anyway, so yeah, so John got up at least four to five times between 4 a.m. and 7 a.m. Yeah. And they would always wait till I was just falling asleep and then, Row! <laughs> and then I'd be like, John, John, <laughs> we have a deal no, in the house. You're like, dear. <laughs> yeah, it was. Dear. Dear. The deal. Look at, look at all these gaps. <laughs> the, deal, the deal in the house is. The bed is split down the middle. If it happens on my side of the bed, which is very little, half, most of the house is on my side of the bed, <laughs> then I get up and deal with it. If it's on John's side of the bed, he has to deal with it. Let's see. And so, yeah, and we finally at 7 a.m., Ruthie went downstairs and we put her, you know, Dorian and Libby were down there with her. And yeah. They were probably happy as larks. You can't get uh, all the seat breakers, but. And my phone's too far away, but basically, I was I ended up being not fully asleep again for another two hours. Yeah. I need tissues. Not tissues. No. I think she's falling asleep. That's eleven twelve, and we still got to play. With our, I got to play with our cats. Yeah, I got to work on the video for tomorrow. Now these guys, but she probably wants to come out and play with that. I don't think I'll let them have it. Oh. But we're, I don't know if they're eaters yet. So far, oh, that's true. So far, they're doing okay with the, the, um, the this one, the long one. They're not doing okay with my cam over there, though. They're a wild bunch. I mean, we knew within two minutes that they were going to be wild. The minute... Um, that's the best thing I like. We got a call. So we were supposed, they were supposed to get eight-week-old kittens. On Monday, they're like, you have eight old eagle kittens. Do you want to take them? Um, one of them. They said, do you want eight week or twelve weeks? Yeah. The the picture that they, that was sent out that they had originally and they sent out was eight week old kittens. Well, it turns out that's the picture that they got. Yeah, and then it's so a yes, very old picture. Yeah, because yesterday they called, she's like Jessica. Um, so they are not in capital letters. <laughs> Eight weeks old. Do you still want to foster them? Or like, yeah, of course. We're not gonna say yes and then say no. Like that would be oh your luck, she's out here. Run the bed. She's outside. The cam down scoreboard. Yeah. Kinda of like with Lizzie and her days. Yeah, yeah. No 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 the Zik Zuko well, the, Oh yeah, the cam down. Yeah. I see. Down, yeah. But, um, out of Escapes. yeah, or uh, like Lizzie's uh, days without incidents, mm -hmm. yeah, they've gone zero days without a cam takedown. Zuko and Twix, oh, they, they never wanted to stay in here, and then in the end, they didn't because hey, baby girly, I still have that program for the escape, uh, the escape counter, so that's possible to do it again. 
Actually, no, I don't. I can easily be right. Look at her face. Oh, <laughs> she got bopped in the head by her brother who was swinging at the toy. Okay, I'll take this here. She's like, she's, she is very, very shy. I see you. She's very tiny. Ooh, that was a big yawn. Hello. I'm getting myself out of here. Oh, you know, dear, I went through the, um, so, you know, for those that are on the Cat Lovers Academy uh, Facebook page, I, Sunday we kind of asked everybody what they wanted to maybe hear about, and Senior Cats was on there quite a bit. Hmm. See, you know, like, because with Eddie, immediately, it's just. It's so stressful having senior cats. Dorian. Dorian. Like, Dorian started this past year. <laughs> started screaming. Yeah, that's like second time. You can't want to zoom in past. Yeah, Dorian. I mean, yesterday was a tough day because his um, asthma was really up, acting up, but yeah. it had been fine for days. Yeah, he was he was coughing a lot yesterday. Uh, Shelly is what the kittens say. She has a, a remote control can in her mouth. Uh -huh. And her kittens, it's not strong enough to have a standard kitten step on it. Uh -huh. So it's frequently pointing straight up at the ceiling. So, but she just remotes in and moves Yeah, she just, yeah, that's a controller. Just, mm -hmm. It's an IR controller. Yeah, I found them on Amazon. They're pretty neat, but they're about like six hundred dollars. A little too much. But I guess if we had like a thousand people watching, I'd probably invest in it. Oh, the drink. Where is the drink? Oh, the drink. <laughs> I'm like, wait, where? Look at their faces. We don't have, yeah, the small particles can trigger asthma, but we don't have any up here right now. Um, we're in the Seattle area, and the air has been cleared for a bit now, fortunately. <clears throat> Hopefully these wildfires will end for the year. Yeah, we're probably right now. Like this, people in the, yeah, um, east of LA that are in my mentoring evacuations right now. Oh, really? No, I did not know that. Oh, really? Rag, ragweed is... Oh, interesting. Well, I've had um, a tickle in my throat the last couple of nights. Like, right now it's pretty bad. Have you taken an allergy pill? I think I did. I don't remember what I did this morning, to be honest with you. Oh, he can, he's panting. Oh, okay. Break time. That's good, though. We should, we want to work you out. I'm going to go up there and load again. Mm-hmm. We'll leave this here for you guys to drag around and play. And we'll put this right here for you guys to lay on and attack. Good night, little miss. Let's go up there. He's like, I'll smack it. Awesome. Thank you, Cindy, Deb, Dee Dee, Katie, and Katie for signing up for our on our website. We're excited. Oops, we're excited to have you there. Yeah, great boy. Boy here is. Yeah, both boys' eyes are drooping. They're tired. 
She's going to be the one away. She's watching me. Hello. What's your name? My name is... Get the heck out of my face! No. So her, you're having, like, sore throat, too? Her yes. eyes are drooping. Could you, um, uh, mind, uh, like I said, put the food up in there? We're going to have to figure that out. Okay, guys, don't freak out. Yeah, they're just barely staying awake. Yeah, at some point we're going to be sitting here for a little bit, but I don't know. Tonight's not the night. I'm going to try to spend time in here reading so that the little myths will just get used to seeing us. This stuff? Mm hmm. Thank you, Kristen, for signing up. Did you find it? Yeah. I, was, I just saw the point and I was wondering what that was. What was it? Um, the clicker train pointer. Oh. Well, this is pointer. Yeah. All right, I should probably scoop again, or maybe you can help where I can take down that. Man, this ball needs some serious help. I think that's enough for tonight? Yeah. So that's only going to last until tomorrow, dear. We're going to have to go. Is this going to last? Yeah, this? Yeah. That's all we got. Yeah, that's not much. But the stuff in their bowls will last through the night. Yeah, so tomorrow we're going to have to go so and get more. So I'll be ready for breakfast. So, yeah, our... This is actually... Mrs. C's and Richie's, but they are not, they're still at the shelter, so we are. Yeah, it needed a, unfortunately needed to be washed hot, and that had a detrimental effect to its foam. Yeah, I mean, I we had to sanitize all, everything that was in here, but this, it's just, this one right here is a little, it's, anyway, it's still usable. It's just that it collapses pretty easily. It should be good. It feels like it's better now, actually. Okay, I'm going to come back in a little bit to scoop. One more time and maybe set up another litter box. I can. Do you think this light's safe here? Yeah. I don't know if that can is safe there, but the way they've been knocking it down. Move it a little bit closer to it. So we're going to have to do the meds before you go to work, or I can do or yeah, what time do you want it? Are you going to do them during your break time? Yeah. They're more dry food eaters than they are wet food eaters. Is this going to be okay, dear? Yeah. Are they going to pull this down? Oh, and then... Oh, look at them. They love the stool. Look, he's on, look below you. Just cool it out a little bit. No, no she's, that's right, I try to. She gets very upset. Oh, well, I didn't think she was angry. Yeah, Maybe she, did. that's her spot. Amy, I can't look Oh at my gosh, Eddie, too. look. Eddie. Eddie's slipping on the towel outside Sing the door. Say, show everybody. Okay, let's try this. Say hi, Eddie. Oh. Uh, no, no, don't go in there.
Alright guys, enjoy the kittens. Have a nice day.